Hey, no code today, folks. No code. It's the middle of December, and my brain went on vacation about two weeks ago. It's so no code. Instead, since this is the holiday season, and other than you know the family and the giving and that kind of kind of crap, the holiday season is all about cool stuff. So let's talk about one of the most overlooked and most important parts of your entire tool set. It's not your fancy degree, it's not your vast experience. Is it your GISP? <laughs> no. It's uh, not your workstation, it's not your software. It's your computer keyboard. Your computer keyboard is, is critical. It is something you sit in front of eight hours or more a day working away if it's not a great keyboard, if it's not a great keyboard for you, it's a total quality of life bummer. I mean, it, it's, it's just a bummer. So, I thought we'd talk a little bit about keyboards. Now, I'm a bit of a keyboard junkie. I've got probably a dozen laying around the house here and at the office. I've probably thrown away a dozen. I get a couple every year and fiddle around with them. I'm a keyboard junkie. And there's a lot to know about them. There's the type of switch of, that the key uses. Most keyboards use kind of a, it's, if you look under the key, it's like a plastic X switch that does this when you press it down. And that's not bad, but the quality of that switch and the way it works in keyboards varies widely, very, very widely. So you got to check those keyboards out. You have mechanical switches, which is like the old IBM Model M, where if you look under those keys, it kind of looks like a little plunger switch. And that little plunger goes down and it buckles a spring. And, and that's how the key action happens. And those are harder to find these days than tend to be pretty expensive. You've got standard keys. You've got uh, chiclet keys are very popular right now. So there's a lot to look at and think about when you're getting a new keyboard. Now, let me show you a couple that I have laying around just to look at a few different styles and and what I think is good or, or bad about them. Every time I walk into someone's office and see something like this in, on someone's desk, it, it just withers my cold, tiny heart a little bit more. As, as, this, is, this is what in the keyboard industry, they, they, they use a technical term. It's, it's called crap. This is just crap. The keys are, they feel sticky, the action is bad, they're hard to press. This, this, this is just crap. If you have this on your desk right now, just fling it, just, just pick it up, unplug it first, pick it up and fling it. Now this is also a standard type keyboard. Uh, this is a SciTech Eclipse, illuminated for you pimps out there. It does red, blue, and, and a, a really garish purple. SciTech makes pretty good keyboards. They make keyboards that are for gaming, and usually gaming keyboards are, are, are pretty good. Uh, the keys on here for me personally are, are a little stiffer than I would like, but the action is good. The responsiveness is good. This is a good keyboard. They, they've, they've really done everything right here. So this is a good keyboard. This is what we mean by chiclet style key. They just look like little chiclets. See, type, 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 type. Now, this keyboard is useless. You want to know why? Right here. They took the arrow keys and they cut the size of them in half. Foul. Party foul. Bad, bad, useless keyboard. Well, I paid like 15 bucks for it, so I don't care. You can get tiny keyboards. Don't. Now, this is a mechanical switch keyboard. A buckling spring keyboard, if you will. And you want to know how you can, you can tell these suckers? Can you hear that? Yes, boss, I'm typing the damn TPS report. 
these are very very loud they're 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 loud keys they have some like dos keyboard makes a version and dos keyboard probably makes the best mechanical keyboards going right now that it's a little quieter but they're just very loud people love these uh but it's just not for me it's the the key throws a little far and it's a little stiff it's, uh, I think if you grew up with an IBM Model M, you probably love a mechanical keyboard. I'm a little bit on the other side of that curve, so not really my thing. But if you're into these, check out a DOS keyboard if you can find them. They're supposed to be really, really nice. Now, my current keyboard of choice, and, and it's kind of funny because I'm not a big Apple person, is the Apple Aluminum Keyboard Wired Mm. What I love about this keyboard is the action. The action on this is like a feather. I mean, you, you barely touch these keys. And, you know, the, about yay far is the throw. If you are a very accurate touch typist, this keyboard is an absolute dream. You can pound on this all day long. And you can pound on it. It's not, it's not delicate. And you never get tired. It's super, super great. Now, it's not the perfect keyboard. I'm still looking at new keyboards, as I always am. One, wire. Not big into wired keyboards. It's just more clutter on your desk. The function keys, you have to hit a function key and hold it down before you hit a function key. That's just bad playing. Um, you, can, you can remap some keys to get around that, but bad planning. And they do some little, you know, Apple stuff, like they switched around the super key and the alt key. But I, I got used to that really quick. Um, but the action on this keyboard is just fantastic. Now, one thing I would love to see keyboard manufacturers do, and since I know you're all watching um, keyboard manufacturers, take the number pad and move it over to the left-hand side. The reason is, while you're typing along here, your right hand has to reach all the way past that stuff, that number keypad, you, you just don't use very often to get to your mouse. And that's where a lot of your right hand kind of wrist, forearm, soreness, repetitive stress stuff comes from, is that long move over to your mouse. You get, move that keyboard and you just kind of move right to there, right where that keyboard is. Much shorter. So I'd like to see that happen. I've only seen one brand of keyboard like that, and beyond that feature, it, it looked kind of janky. But uh, that is keyboards, and if you're sitting right now in front of a keyboard that came in a box with your computer, you really owe it yourself to, to take some time, go check out some keyboards. It will be a total quality of life change for you. You spend the better part of your waking hour in front hours in, in front of that keyboard you upgrade that keyboard best investment you ever make so that's it that's all i've got for 2011 i'll see you next year and have a, a good and safe holiday